Welcome to Clear Skies Astro, your YouTube channel for anything and everything astrophotography related. We're doing the Ace Air once more. Let's go. Today we're looking at the camera rotation assist feature in the new Beta 2.0 firmware. Okay, in this example I was shooting M31 at a dark sky preserve site. Um, I did a quick 10 second picture in preview mode on the Ace Air and then did not like the rotation angle I had as you can see it from uh, here. So I went into Sky Atlas and I hit the camera rotation assist which is on the the top icon on the bottom left. Once you hit that you get a slider on the right that you can rotate the red target framing box until you get the rotation uh, angle that you like for the target. Normally when I'm shooting M31, I tend to go almost corner to corner across my APS-C sensor. Just not quite corner to corner. But it would be fine anyway. So I think I end up around 41.3 here. The actual rotation value is irrelevant really. You just want to move the slider until your red target framing box has the angle that you prefer. So here... I settle on this angle and I hit the auto refresh button on the bottom right. Um, which, in hindsight, I probably would not recommend. Um, for anyone that has a rotator on their scope like I do on my FLT91, you know, when you're, you're rotating your, your camera with this manual rotator, you know, you kind of do it gently and slowly. Um, so what happens is you rotate it 5, 10, 15 degrees and the ACE air is taking an exposure at that time. So you're obviously ruining that exposure. It will not place off properly. So you have to wait for the next exposure. And that slows things down a bit. I think I would only do the manual refresh button instead. So I would rotate my camera a small amount, hit the refresh button, wait for the plate solve and the blue bo uh, the blue target framing box to move like it just did now. And you literally just rinse and repeat. M move it more, hit the refresh, and try to get it as close to the red box as you can. Doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to be perfect. I did kind of uh, go probably a little too far here. I think I ended up about a degree off of my red target box, but, you know, I, I didn't need to go that far. And I was actually wasting a bit of dark skies. I, I was a bit late um, getting going here. And so I should have probably just got it close enough and started imaging. So here, here would have been fine. I should have stopped here. But again, OCD, I give it one or two more small turns in rotation. And then once I got it close enough that I was happy with it, I will, I will exit, you'll see in a few seconds, I will exit Sky Atlas and take um, another test shot in preview mode just to confirm that, you know, the rotation I'm seeing in Sky Atlas is actually the one I'm getting in real life when the image uploads and I see it on my screen. So here I think I've, uh, I'm done. I should be exiting out of Sky Atlas soon. And then you'll see the weird rotation angle I initially had at the start of this video on my iPad Pro screen. There, that was the final one I think. And here we go. We're going to exit Sky Atlas. There's the ugly rotation framing. Doing another 10 second exposure. I was running with no filters this evening. Because it's such a dark site, I didn't need any filters. And my camera has a UVI or cut filter window. So here, the 10 second image is uploading. And as soon as it uploads, you'll see that my framing is matching exactly what I had in Sky Atlas. So at this point, I was happy with it went to auto run 
set up my auto run plan and then started imaging. So overall, great feature, um, really helpful. I really wish ZWO would get moving on making an actual, you know, automatic rotator like other companies have. I think it would be a huge seller for them. I mean, everyone I know would get one probably. It, it would be so convenient to, to have and to plan through the AC air. Anyways, that's it for this evening. Clear skies, everyone.